So we're going to show you a variation of the mounted triangle. There's a lot of uh, a lot of different instructionals out there. Here and Henry Gracie have a, a fantastic one. They both do a different variation. I'm going to share with you one that I like a lot um, when the guy's defending like this. Okay. So we're going to start in the mount, and I'm going to hook his head just like this. I want to base myself over here. And on this same side that I'm hooking his head, that knee's going to slide out. I want to try to feel his elbow come past my hip here. If it's buried in, it's not going to work. So I want to slide that up. So I'm bringing my knee to my elbow. Now I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to grab here, just this gable grip, and I'm going to pinch down on top of his wrist here, pinning this arm down. Now I'm going to lean to the side. I'm going to swing the leg over. Once I'm here, I'm effectively laying down on top of this arm. I'm going to pass this hand here. And this hand's going to come out for base. Now I need to tighten this up a little bit, so I'm going to walk my foot, toe, heel, just like this. And now I need to get this arm across. You see his hands are still close together. So when I start putting this foot on the floor and moving my hips around, you see how it pushes the arm out. Once I've got that, I lean a little further to make my connection. doesn't matter if his hand's in there or not. I'm going to go for the arm. So I'm going to pull the arm up here. I want to make sure the palm is up. If it's here, he can bend the elbow outward. So I want to turn his palm up like this. I'm going to bring it right to my chest and very gently raise my hips. 